Tonight, moms of kids with cancer are finally getting some answers following concerns over contaminated water and air. CBS 13 investigator Julie Watts is here with the surprising results of soil vapor testing in Ripon following our ongoing investigation. Hey, you know, the answers we're getting tonight, they're actually leading to more questions. As many of these parents in Ripon expected, they might find one cancer causing chemical in the air there. And instead, test results show another related but different cancer causing chemical. Let's recap. First, parents were concerned about the cell tower on campus after four kids at Weston Elementary were diagnosed with cancer. Then they turned their attention to the cancer causing chemicals found in the drinking water and groundwater as they compiled a growing list of people with cancer in the city. But a CBS 13 investigation revealed that chemical could be just as dangerous when it evaporates into the air. And we learned no one had tested the air in over a decade. We know it can cause cancer by uh, any route of exposure. So what that means is um, whether you breathe it in, whether you drink it in contaminated water, we're concerned about all of those exposures. Well, now they have tested the air and tonight we have the results. They did find a cancer causing chemical in the soil vapor slightly above the screening levels near the schools and well above the screening levels in downtown Ripon. But it wasn't TCE, the chemical we've been reporting on in the water linked to the old Nestle plant in Ripon. Instead, it was a similar chemical, PC. It's often used as a dry cleaning solvent, and the Water Board tells us it's not likely connected to the Nestle plant. Now, the Water Board does tell me they will be doing more testing to try to determine the source and how widespread this chemical concern may be. Based on initial testing, however, they say it appears the chemical in the air could be associated with the sewer, not the groundwater. This is so troubling, Julie. Any idea how long that testing is going to take? Uh, they do plan to retest sometime in early 2020. Uh, right now, though, it's really frustrating for these parents not to have a definitive answer, and we may never know what is causing cancer in Ripon. Yeah. Julie, thanks.